Yeah, I don't know whose bloody idea it was for me to host this week. All right, fine. We'll give it a go. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. What have we started? Where's my microphone? My bloody. How <laughs> did I start this? Hello, everyone. Welcome to week three of the game show. I'm your host, Luca Ho. What are you doing? Maybe be what are you like. Doing? Maybe be like um. Oh, uh, guest host this week. Uh, the producers wanted to try something different this week and switched us up. So, hello, I'm Luca Ho on The Game Show and welcome to our first first contender. Contestant. <laughs> right, welcome to our first contestant, Oscar Ho. Make a f***ing effort for once in your life. Make a f***ing effort. Hello, I'm your contestant, Oscar Ho. Oh, sorry, wrong character, isn't it? Yeah. Get mind your podium, oh, Oscar. Okay. Hello, Oscar. Okay. Welcome to my show. Lovely, lovely to be here, Luca. This is Oscar. He has a top knot, wears grey t-shirts every now and then, and white shorts. Give us an interesting fact about yourself, Oscar. <coughs> I've always wanted to be a contestant on the game show, so uh, I, this is really this is really exciting for me. Um, uh, I really can't thank the producers enough for allowing me to do this. Um, I really just hope this is going to be a going to be a great show, and I'm 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 really looking forward to doing it. Thank you. Thank you for spending way too much time on that fact. Do you know what we're doing in today's game show? Um, no, you don't, because I'm the game show host. Don't even try and guess. In today's game show, I've embodied you. Yes, in this. And you I was so angry at me on the <laughs> first time doing this. And now you're doing it. Yeah, but it's funny, isn't you it? you got to be... <clears throat> no, it's funny when I do it. This is my exact argument. Go on, be yourself as a game show host. It's impossible. Stop talking to me, Oscar. You're the contender. Contestant. So, okay, right. So, well, no. Okay, fine. Go on. It's, Go on. Be, it's boring. Exactly! Oh, oh my shut God! Up. first game show, he got all angry at me because I was acting up because I had a mic in my hand and I said it's impossible not to act up. He said, yes, just stop acting up. And now look at him. Let's go on with the game then. For today's, today's game show. It is habitual. What? Being a host. I didn't mean to. What do you I, mean I habitual? Didn't, I didn't even realise I did What do you mean habitual? It was a habit of just introducing. Hey. So for today's... Oh, you didn't say your Sunday night entertainment starts here. Starts. Your Sunday night entertainment starts, starts right Come in. right here. Go on, next. So for today's game, show ho. Uh, we'll pause it there. When you're doing the host, try and stand this side. Because then you've got the show of the camera. you pick it up, you'll pick it up. Uh, come on, roll. Undermine me like that one more time on my show. And I'm kicking you right off. Right? I'm, just trying to I'm kicking you right off. I can do this without you. I don't need a contender. Contestant. I don't need a contestant on this. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. Look at me in the eye and say okay. Okay. For tonight's game show, we are playing Two Truths, One Lie. Ooh! I have come up with four rounds of Two Truths and One Lie. <laughs> There's a person outside the big window. The sign gives it away. <laughs> She's gone. Right. So I give Oscar three statements, two of which are truths, one of which is a lie, and he has to pick out which one's a lie. It's going to be quite hard though. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for prompting me on that, Oscar. Because obviously he knows me quite well, I've had to make them quite obscure. I also had to do a bit of research to discover some things, and... And that discover some things to create my truths and sorry for that. Quite frankly, I think that was a bit insulting. Can you actually do my window, Oscar? Why oh, you have to do it like this? Oh, I just want it to look a bit smart. Look at me. You got me f joking with that. Oh, I don't look. This is slob city, mate. There's no care taken with that. Okay. Gorgeous. It's okay. fine. Okay. 
So Oscar, are you paying attention? Can I ask a question? Do I need the mic? No. Well, they're not going to hear me. Yeah, they will. How is the scoring? Yonk, yonk. If he chooses the lie correctly, he gets a point. If he doesn't, I get a point. Do you understand? Do you want me to recap on anything? I just, wait, I got you up into the point where I get a point, but how is it that you get a point? Basically, if you don't get it, if you don't guess the lie, then I'll get a <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. No, obviously, it was a fing joke. Obviously, that was a fing joke. It's funny because that's how I'd have to do it if it was legal as a contestant. Round number one. You gotta do it like that. I don't have a f***ing one. Round one. Round number one. More like that. Give it another go. I told you to be on the mic. I'm not on the mic, I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to help. Give it another go. Round number one. You've never done it like that in your life. Yeah. Just do it with me. Round. Uh, I no, can't do it. Round, Round number one. Try it. Round, Round number one. one. More from down here. Round. Round. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> number one. Round number one. Right, round number one. Just do yeah. it. I'm not going to do it. Round number one. Oh. I prefer sweet over savoury. My favourite flower is a Turkish tulip. I believe in the Loch Ness Monster. I normally would have gone for the sweet over savoury as a lie. Like yesterday we had a conversation about how much we're starting to like chocolate. I'm going to have to hurry you please Oscar. But the Turkish tulip is beautiful. Have you seen it? No. It is f***ing stunning. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. Yes! Ah, yes, SpongeBob! Who was that? Plankton. 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 I'm gonna have to put so it I'm this. gonna say that you. Uh, the first one is a lie. That you prefer sweet over savoury. Give yourself a oh, point. Give yourself a point. Sometimes with these, you just have to trust your gut. And my gut was right, so thank you. Uh, well done, Oscar, on the on your last point. Well done. <laughs> Round number two. Out of all the superheroes, Spider-Man's powers would be the coolest. My left foot has the best balance. I think kettles, sea salt and balsamic vinegar crisps are quite good. Statement number three is a lie. He knows me too well. <laughs> I know him too well. Kettles, sea salt and balsamic vinegar crisps are top of the crisp ladder. You can't beat him. So yeah, he loves a bit it. better than quite good, I guess you could say. He absolutely loves him. He'd never describe it as quite. Ever. What would I describe them as? What would I describe them as? I'll close my ears and you describe them how I would describe it and then I'll do it afterwards and it, I'll show you that I would always do it more than quite good. Luke yeah, describes yeah, some vinegar yeah, kettle crisps yeah, yeah, as a perfect balance of tang and salt yeah, with a crunch that could make yeah, you weep yeah, with joy yeah, yeah. and a scent that would bring a nun to bed with you. He absolutely loves them. Okay, your turn Gaff. I often describe them as um, a perfect balance of tang and salt with a crunch that could make you weep and a scent that would bring a nun to bed with you. Okay, round three. Are you ready? Hold on a second. We all familiar with that sound? I'll let you do the honours. No, you do it. I'll let you do it. No, we need to do it. It's mini game time. It's mini time. It's. It's. It's mini game time. <sighs> Stand here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Why are you acting like that? You don't know what it is. What is it, you ask? What is it? Oh, look at that one. No, you can't. Why not? It's broken. It's not broken. How's it broken? It's a bow tie! <laughs> Luca thought this was broken because he's only ever used a clip on bow tie. It's bloody broken. So for this, this mini game, it is guess the sound. One by one we put up a sound by the microphone. You get a point if you get it right. For my sound, I just searched up the sound of stools being moved around in the upstairs science lab. And I just got a load of videos of shits. <laughs> so, can't do that one. So Oscar, please show your sound. <laughs> Mine was like mine's gonna be a lot easier compared to that, you <laughs> dick. <laughs> Do you want it again? Yeah, one more time. First thing that came to mind was a lemur. 
in the zoo. Is that your final answer? No. <laughs> it's an animal, isn't it? A bobcat. Bobcat. Uh, no. What is it? It is a female fox's mating call. Oh, for f**k's sake. And I'll tell you why you couldn't get that. Because of the famous song. What does the fox say? Now, Shut you f**k No. This is mine. You probably get it really easily. Um, and you'll be three no up. Whatever. What was that for you, Oscar? <laughs> you dickhead! What? What do you mean I get that easily? That is an easy sound. I need that again. Do it one more time for you. Don't look. <laughs> this was literally the first sound that came to my head. So I just searched it up and I found it. First video. That is ridiculous. That's harder than mine. Mine was an easy animal call. It wasn't easy. And you know it wasn't because it, no, if no you one can't recognise it, then no one knows fox. what the bloody fox says. A really? fart? No. What is it? Pulling a chair across the ground. I was honestly going to say dragging something. Yep, dragging a chair. That is so far from easy. So neither of us get a point. Round number three. Round number three. I forgot we're playing this game. Three statements. Are you ready? I spend more time on Instagram than I do on TikTok. If I could do anything right now, it'd be paddleboarding in Sardinia. I wish you made more effort on this show. Is this a trick question? No, it's not. Did you say I spend more time on Instagram than I do TikTok? Yes. That's true. Okay. Cool. Okay. So it has to be the Sardinia so, one. That one then. Yes. Why is that obvious? Because it's if I could be doing absolutely anything right now, it'd be paddleboarding in Sardinia. Well, what would it be then? Toast Tuesdays. Well done on that point, Oscar. It looks as if I'm not making these hard enough. Round number four. I look better in this blazer than you do. Lie. I like your top knot. On a good day, I can handstand for upwards of three seconds. Well, obviously I know what the lie is, and it's a dickhead thing to say. What? The top knot one. Wrong. Is it the blazer one? Obviously not. The handstand one. Can't handstand for upwards of three seconds. Ever. Even on a good day. I'm going to appeal that one to the committee because I think I um, look better in the blazer than you do. Cool. Oh. Can you hear that? I'm a bit more enthusiastic this time, mate. Come on. It's mini game time. I'll spend the video where we get the game chance. Obviously, I'm going to do that. Can I do it? Fine. Oh, this mini game is called Copy and Remember the Movement. What does that involve? It's quite a nice one. So we take turns. Oscar will do a movement. And then I copy it and add my own movement. And then Oscar has to copy his movement, my movement, and then add his own movement. And we keep going up until one of us can't remember the next movement. And that is the loser. Do we stop in between each one or do you keep it going while the other person's doing it? Uh, just play. Well, there's two very different things there. For example, if I say hopping, do I then stop and let you do it or do I have to continue while you're doing yours? No, you stop and let me do it, obviously. I'm gonna start easy. Hey, move up the way. Other foot. Like you, you went like this. I went like this. So the left foot, the right foot. Okay. Easy as that. Then yours. Then my one again. Uh, get out my space, Oscar, because I'm doing it. What? Do that again. I was that one. Oh, what up there? And you look. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you gotta go, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then you got a like karate chop forward with both hands like this. And then... <laughs> no. Oh! 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 What came after that? Oh! I was enjoying that. Try it one more time.
And the final round for Oscar to f***ing win it. Hold on. No. No. What's that? You want us to do one final mini game and sweep no. the scores no. dry. Okay. Well, you'll never guess what. What? Producers have bloody asked us to sweep it clean and go 1v1 on the mini game to see who takes the win. Join in. So the producers have asked us to do one final mini game to see who the winner is, and this mini game is first one to laugh loses. You gotta look at me, no? Um <laughs> Yeah, that was me hardly trying with the barking thing. I thought it was yeah. my, I thought it might quite <laughs> I thought that was going to last a bit f***ing longer than that. <laughs> yeah. So, that didn't last as long as we thought it would. We literally just been trying to watch whether it's worth instant replay now. <laughs> no, stop doing that. No, I like that. And then you can see. Okay. So yeah, instant replay shows that we both lost, because we both laughed at the same time. Which actually concludes quite a nice ending to this one, doesn't it? A lovely little draw again. A lovely little draw. A comment below if you think I laughed so annoying. Don't do that. Don't do that. Thank you very much for tuning in to this Sunday's episode of The Game no, Show. Where did I say Stan? Yeah, but, but you're that way. No, you, okay, no. last time this is what you did though. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Do that then. Hey. I was your host, Luca Ho. And I was your contestant, Oscar Ho. And together we are The Game Show. Tune in next Sunday for this thing to continue. Tell Hurry us, up, wrap it up. Tell us what games wrap to play, because we'd, we'd love to know what games you want to see us play. Thank you, good night. Mm -hmm.